Well, when you have those outdoor plans, you know to watch the weather to find out the temperature and rain chances. But how about planning your summer fun around the strength of the sun? What's that all about? Our Verify team explains. Warm days and glowing evenings. The summer sun brings a lot of good to the season, but it also means stronger ultraviolet or UV rays. We turn to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, their meteorologist, Laura Siasto, and the EPA to verify what you need to know about using the UV index for sun safety. NOAA is a branch of the National Weather Service. Just like precipitation and temperature, it tracks UV radiation in locations across the U.S. Typically, that forecast is made for solar noon of the next day when we are expecting the UV radiation likely to be strongest. The strength of those rays is measured using the UV index. A forecast on the low end of the scale, 0 through 5, means fewer damaging rays with less risk for most people, according to NOAA, which explains scores of level 6 or greater indicate significant damage from the sun can happen quickly. People who are more likely to get sunburn or are on medications or use creams that make them more sun sensitive might experience worse effects at lower UV levels. The EPA has a free mobile app where you can enter your zip code and find the hour by hour UV forecast where you live. You're getting into the what we call the extreme, the purple values of our um, UV index. That's when we're recommending that you just stay indoors in the shade. The EPA warning of the known risk of health consequences of sun damage encourages people to limit their time outside between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., the hours of the day with the strongest UV potential. The UV levels on any given day are based on a few factors, including cloud cover, ozone layer thickness, reflection from surfaces like sand and snow, elevation and pollution. Places closer to the equator and where the Earth's summertime tilt shorten the distance to the sun log higher UV levels. The UV radiation is kind of looking for the path of least resistance. You don't have to burn to experience sun damage. It's why dermatologists recommend lathering up with sunscreen even on cloudy days and wearing sunglasses to prevent UV damage to your eyes. But remember, the UV index is ultimately another tool to help you stay informed and enjoy your summer days outside. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.